Hey guys, thanks for joining. Today we'll do a two year review on our DIY easy drain duck pool. Today we're going to replace <laughs> the goose back there. <laughs> well, we're going to replace our uh, duck pool, which is right here behind me actually. This is June, will be two full years. We've had two winters and lots of ice and it held up great. But if you'll check this out here a little closer, we've got cracks. I've already put tape in it uh, throughout and it's starting to not hold water as well. But again, this was a two year pool. I think initial investment was $10, so well worth it. Plus the drain, which was another eight to $10. But this worked out really well for the ducks. Uh, as, as you'll see in this video, I'm replacing it and putting another one in. Hopefully it lasts another two years. And also I wanted to thank everyone. I just reached a thousand subscribers the other day, continuing to grow and I hope to be able to continue to share videos, DIY projects, and uh, just things that come to mind, maybe even some daily vlogs, uh, just on the life out here on the homestead in between my regular job and trying to make things work out here and share that with you. So thanks for joining us and again, God bless. Here's some mealworms. Uh, we had an initial uh, 5,000 mealworms and 500 beetles, and this is the last of it, almost six weeks into it, and we have uh, an overflow of beetles currently. So if you want, or if you're interested in raising mealworms and how that works, check out our series. I'll put the link below, and uh, you'll see in that link, uh, that video, where you can purchase them and uh, the how-to steps on raising your own mealworms. But we're getting ready to feed some of these to the ducks, as again, we have plenty extra. All right, so there's the finished product. Almost two years was the last duck pool. Somebody asked me the other day, uh, or actually said that they were going to put the drain closer to the edge so it's uh, easier to reach. And that's absolutely uh, doable. The only thing is for me, instead of climbing all the way around this pool when I clean it, I like to spin it. So my center point's there to spin. If I had it all the way here, I couldn't spin it at all. So that's the reason I put it towards the middle. But absolutely, if they uh, have the space to put it closer to the edge, that would definitely be helpful. The ducks love the water. They're already waiting. But hopefully this one will last another two years. So here are the ducks. Not able to wait until it's all the way filled up. Looks like this one is actually a little uh, smaller in width, but it's actually deeper than the last one. So we'll see how this works. Uh, you know, 
typically they all only go in there at one time, but they'll have to learn how to share. And the water we're putting in there again is from our uh, rainwater collection system. The OD Mystic rainwater collection and the IBC totes. I need to put the weatherproof tape back on here, but I'll put a link below. You can check out that too if you're looking at saving your own rainwater, if you're allowed to in your county. And then this pool will clean out and use it for a dust bath for the chickens.